Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm, I'm um, this is you could technically say it's an updated version of the how to enable like how to open how to make open and close UI video I did like months months ago and stuff. This video, I'm gonna actually be explaining to you how you can like either disable a GUI or just generally make uh, a frame text label text button text box whatever um not visible and stuff like that i'm sure you guys had to do it on the client side as well as local side so yeah if you don't know client side means the player like it only affects one specific player if you're saying like that specific client right clients another word for for player right server side means just affecting the server right which means if you had a server side change all the players would see it right so as long as there's not any colliding client side changes right so first thing first, I'll show you guys the server side way, right? Now, depending on what you're making, um, it could differ. Like, you could you could make stuff either server side or client side. Say if you had like a match system and you had like a voting system, like you voted on what map you wanted to go to, you could enable it via server a server script or local script that just use remote events with another server script. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys an example, right? All right, so let's insert a service script into service script service. Then we'll call this our uh, GUI script, right? Then of course we'll go back to an OCAP headquarters or just generally your place. We'll insert a, a GUI or a screen GUI and just our GUI, and we'll insert a text label, right? We'll have the text label like just at the top, right? We will call this um, notification GUI. I know what I'm gonna do, right? And we will call this notification text label, right? And then we will bold it, uh, scale the text, and clear our label. So here's what I'm going to do, right? <clears throat> so by default, I will have this set to disabled, right? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys first how to do it server side. Okay, so let's say in a game, right? Where you guys know the Roblox default thing where like if your friend joins the server, you see a message in the chat that says uh, so-and-so has joined the game and stuff like that. I'm going to make something similar to that, but with a GUI, right? It, but the, the difference is it's going to show everyone in the server. So here's what we'll do. All right. We'll do this. We'll do game.players.playeradded, colon, oh, sorry, colon, connect, function, then PLR, which is for per player. Then come on the outside of the parentheses and press enter. Then we will do player dot player GUI. We will do wait for sorry not find for child wait for child notification GUI, right? And then we will do player dot player GUI that notification GUI dot enabled is equal to true, right? Let's come come up here and let's press enter again, right? I like keeping space in between everything, right? And then we're gonna we can just highlight this. We're gonna change the text, right? We're gonna go notification text label dot text is equal to player dot name dot 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 then uh, quotation mark space has joined the server right right so what this would do is right this is how you would change it on the server side but it would only uh, change change it for that specific player now obviously this would this this particular scenario doesn't make sense as why would you tell someone that they join the well you, you could kind of do that, but it doesn't really make sense to really tell yourself that you join the game when you can clearly see you join the game. But here's how you would change it server side, right? Because I, I see a lot of people do this because I had a subscriber DM me a question about this. A lot of people like to do this game starter GUI. Sorry, uh starter GUI dot whatever GUI, and then they try to change it like this will not work. That is changing it like sir like just like just on the server, not for not for any player. It's just changing on the server. The G when a player clicks play, their GUI is located under the player service and under the player itself under player GUI, not start GUI. This is the the default. This is pretty much what's being preload. Like this is what's gonna load when a person joins the server, and then whatever changes occur after, uh, depending on whatever scripts happen and stuff. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a server side change like it, like where you want it to be like sorry a server side uh gui change i should say where it shows every single player in the server like the gui so we'll do this backspace backspace come up here enter again we'll do four i comma v in pairs 
game dot players get children do then we can copy and paste this well sorry copy this delete this then uh paste it here right and what we will pretty much do is we can honestly switch this out we can say we can take this part then delete this right and we can do come over here and do v dot player july right and what we'll pretty much do is this will pretty much make it so it'll get every single player currently in the game it'll wait for the players uh notification gui to have loaded then it will then change the text to the player's name and says has joined the server and then it'll enable it right so obviously if i join the server it would obviously do that right i don't really need to join the server that's not really a point to but yeah right here's how you would change all the players server side right because remember you can have gui changes on the server and the client side which only affects certain players or one player or you can have it affect all players this would affect all players currently in the server at least right so i'm sure you guys how to make uh, what's it called how to do locally right so you can delete this script insert a local script into the text label right and then we can call this gui script same thing here and what we can do is we can do script dot parent dot text is equal to game dot players dot local player dot name right now this will make it so it only affects this specific player's gui right pretty much every single player will have their own username here right and then if we were to do wait three seconds script dot parent dot visible is equal to false it would then disable it right let me re-enable the gui right <clears throat> I'm going to click play. Now watch as we load into the game. The GUI will be visible with my name, right? Spy J19. And then it will, boom, not visible anymore, right? But this is only locally. Because if you guys go here into the player service and find my name, Spy J19, player GUI, here, right? This is what you want to change, not this. You want to change, like, here, the player GUI, right? So as you guys can see, if we go here, it says it is um, not visible. However, if you switch over to the server side, right, if we go here, it will say it's visible because it's different, right? Now, obviously, there's no text here because this is only affecting you on the, on the uh, client side, not the server side, right? Uh, I hope that is, like, that is broken down how you, like, how you uh, make changes on the local, like, I mean, on the client side and server side and the difference between the two and how to make changes to GUI and stuff. I get a lot of questions about that, and it's a very, like, big misconception. I was extremely confused about it at first two months ago, but then I figured out, it was like, oh, okay, I get how you're supposed to do it and stuff. So I completely understand the struggle and stuff. I hope this video was helpful and stuff like that. And, yeah, if it was, leave a like and subscribe. The links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. Appreciate y'all for watching, and yeah, I'll see you guys.